Hi, it's Jan Howell here with another DIY sewing project. Today I'm going to show you how to make a basic baby beanie using an upcycled t-shirt or a knit fabric. The items and things that you'll need to make your beanie hat is the pattern downloaded and printed and cut out, straight pins, a pair of fabric scissors. If you're buying fabric, you'll just need a quarter yard of fabric or you can use an upcycled t-shirt like I'm doing here. This is just a, a cute t-shirt, a striped t-shirt that I'm going to make a beanie hat. I also have made a pair of leggings from that same um, t-shirt. So some really fun things that you can do with an upcycled shirt. So to cut out the beanie hat, first you need to decide which hat you're going to make. This is for the knot um, top beanie hat and I'm going to set that aside and use that for later, another project. I'm just going to make the regular beanie hat with the cuff. So I'll just need these two pieces right here. If you are using an upcycled shirt, you want to make sure that it has at least 25% stretch to it, which means that it will, when you're holding it, it will stretch out at least an inch. If there is a stripe to the fabric, you'll want to line up and match the stripes. So I'm going to need um, two pieces. So I'm going to put the right sides together and then line up the stripes. That way when you're sewing it together, the lines will match up with your seams. I just need two of this piece. And this is the cuff. And you'll need to place this end of the pattern on the fold of the fabric. So I have a long strip here. I'm just going to make sure that the lines are lined up on the pattern of the fabric. And place that edge along the fold. And pin it in place. And then you've decided which size that you're making and just go ahead and cut out the cuff and the cap top. And we're going to cut out that notch as well. To sew it together, we have the right sides together facing each other, and we're just going to sew from this notched edge down to the edge, both sides. Now you can use a single needle machine or a serger, whichever you would prefer. If you have a serger, just use the serger. It's a lot quicker and finishes your edges. Remove your pattern pieces. Right sides are together, and I'm gonna sew the this end here from here to here, back stitching if you're using a regular single needle machine or just serging. The seam allowance is going to be a quarter inch to three eighths inch, just very a very small seam allowance. So let's just go to this machine and do that now. So I'm just going to sew the cuff. I'm gonna start at that edge. The seam allowance is quarter inch seam allowance. I'm gonna back stitch at the front of the start of the seam. Make sure my stripes are lined up. And again, we're sewing a zigzag stitch so that we can have the stitches won't pop if it's pulled when we're sewing on knit. So the width is at four. You can any, go anywhere from really three to four and the stitch length one and a half. So I'm gonna start at the top 
of that pleat and sew around the edge. Making sure the stripes are lined up and back stitching at the beginning at the end of the seam. If you did use a single needle machine and not the serger, you can reduce the bulk of that seam by just trimming it a little bit. Now we're just going to open up the hat so that pleat is open like this and we're going to line up the seams. Flip one of the seam allowance to one side and one to the other and pin it in place. And we're going to be sewing from this open point to this open point of the dart, but we're going to gradually start sewing on and gradually sew off so that it doesn't have a puff. It seems to be on the side of the head. So we're going to Fold the hat in half, line up the side seams, and mark that halfway point with a pin. That will be the front and the back. Now with the cuff, we want the, the seam to be in the back of the head. So line up your, the back seam, that seam, Fold it in half and make, mark the halfway point with a pin. So with the cap, the wrong side facing out, I'm going to sew the cuff on by finding that back seam and we're going to choose one of the halfway points for the back of the cap. Line up the pin and pin it in place. Line up the other pin, this will be the front. Make sure the edges are even. Pin it in place. And then we're going to be sewing just all the way around. So you can see that the cuff is smaller than the cap, and that's how we want it to be because that's where you'll get the stretch. If you wanted to, you could mark the halfway point. So I'm going to line up the center of that cuff with the sides, the side seam. And you can just do this at the machine if you really wanted to, because it's such a small seam, but I'll just pin that in place to give me a better idea. So you're, you'll be sewing three layers of fabric together. So you want to make sure that the edges are lined up. And sometimes the edges of knit fabric will want to curl, and that's okay. Just make sure that those edges are even, and we'll stretch that when we sew it. So we're going to start at any point and sew all the way around. Doesn't really matter where you start. Make sure the edges are lined up. You're going to back stitch and as you can see the, the cuff is a little bit tighter snug fit than the hat we're just going to ease that in line up the edges
And when you get to where you started, just fast it. And clip your threads. So now we'll flip the right side out. If you just use a regular sewing machine, you can trim that seam allowance. If you use a serger, it automatically trims that excess fabric off. Make sure you're not clipping into the seam, however. This reduces just some of the bulk. So take the cap with the wrong side still facing out, and we're gonna open it up and press the seam allowance towards the hat. Now go ahead and push the right side out. We're going to fold up the cuff and then press that. So you don't see the right edges of the seam. it. Cute little beanie cap for a cute little infant head. And if you've made some leggings to go with it, what a cute gift that would be. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing and would like more tutorials like this. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next class.